Here we have the female custom base mesh low poly for Blender. In this short tutorial, I will go through all the customization options for this 3D asset. First, let's activate the render view by clicking this icon here. By default, our render engine is set to Eevee. And let's make sure that our model is selected. And then we'll go to our context menu and select the object data tab. In the shape keys, you will find all the different features which are available for customization. So there are fa facial features, which is Asian, Black and Caucasian. Uh, body type features, which is muscular, overweight or skinny. And there are some pose options where you can make the arms straight, arms down or put the legs together for the model. So to activate one of the features, you simply click a check mark next to the option or for any incremental changes, you can just adjust the value slider. Uh, to further exaggerate the look, you can also bump up this maximum value. By default, it's set to one, but let's see what happens if we double it. We set it to two and then we'll increase the value further. You see, now our model is way more exaggerated, but make sure don't really crank up this max value past, uh, I would say, uh, past the value of three, then the body may start looking a little bit disfigured. This is at uh, three and you can see the body start to look a little wonky. So let's go down to our default max value. We'll set it to one and let's activate a uh, different facial feature and let's put the arms straight. Uh, this may be beneficial if you're if you have certain standard for rigging or perhaps for a costume uh, which requires the arms to be straightened down or you can adjust the arms by lowering them down like this or putting the, the legs together. You can also adjust this slider. You can put them all the way together or put them back to the default pose. And let's say this is what we're looking for in our model. So further, to further uh, adjust the look, we have our muscular body type, but we need to activate the muscular normal map to really uh, show all the details of musculature. So to activate the normal map, we need to select the muscular normal map and connect the color to the, make sure that our color is connected to the uh, normal map node. So this is average and this is muscular. As you can see, the body features are more prominent now. You can have like obvious six pack and let's see what happens if we connect a different normal map so let's say we have a skinny normal map and we connect it to the normal map node this will not have as prominent of a six pack and you will have more ribs showing let's see how that looks on our model we'll activate the skinny body type and this is the proper normal map for this body type or we can activate the overweight normal map and this is what it looks like so these are all the options which are available for this model if you have any questions please leave a comment and i'll be happy to answer bye bye